Someone is waiting. Someone who understands exactly how you feel. Exactly how you feel. Someone is dreaming. Someone is hoping just that this will be the day. This will be the day that you take your eyes off the ground, out of the blue, and see that someone is looking right back at you. Maybe that someone's me. There's too many reasons not to try, but you take your eyes off the ground, out of the blue, and see that someone is looking right back at you. Maybe that someone's me. The thing about Sue as a person is that she is so genuine. From the bottom of her heart, she cares about what she does. She's incredibly perceptive. She sees inside their soul. She looks she looks inside someone. She sees how they respond and react. She cares about the people she works with. And so anyone who works with Sue is touched by Sue. Now Larry's got quite a story. We rescued Larry from an abattoir. So he's one of our special rescue boys here. And to think he'd been in a big truck, you know, I reached him with all these other horses and cattle and shoved down a ramp and because they smell it, you know, they, they, they can smell death. And it was either you either bring the pony back or bring that $2 a kilo. When we first got Larry, you couldn't go near him. He was petrified of humans. Could a rope or a stick, he would just shake, which sort of says he's probably been beaten at some stage, I would say. So it's like the kids that come here, he's, you know, that was then, this is now. He's had to learn to trust again. And uh, now, now he trusts us. He would be the most gentle, giving, 
affectionate little guy I have ever known in all my years of having horses. You know, before I came here I was really depressed and really I didn't have anything to look up to or anything like that. Pretty much mostly over Facebook bullying and stuff. Like it was really bad. It was made me feel like I didn't want to get up in the morning and stuff. And yeah, I just didn't want to do anything with my life. Before I came to the horses, I had no uh, I had complete anger, you know, problems. I was not that much of an open person until I came seeing my suit. It did make a big change in my life. Speaking to people uh, without swearing and without getting angry when somebody does something small. I don't know how she did it, but she managed these horses to have like a connection with people. It's really good to be different personalities because this guy here, Sonny's, I meant to make people feel safe. So if there's danger, it'll be sunny or go, everybody, we need, you know, can't go there, it's dangerous. And little Larry here, he'll organise things for you. So say you drop your homework all over the floor and it's all mixed up, Larry's the one that'll put it very carefully all back together in its right order and give it to you. So we're all meant to be a certain personality. When you feel the energy between you and a horse, it's like a ghost running through you. Once as a horse knows that you're not an enemy, it's like a bond like a father and son. And that's why so many kids and teenagers come here to do this program. We came here and just, I just love it. It's way better and I can wake up in the morning and be happy and stuff. So it's really good. I'm just loving, I've changed completely. And yeah, it's amazing. So, I would like to thank you for making a change in my life and who knows how many other teenagers have helped and made a change in their life too. I want to make up what's lacking now in the community. Until funds are reallocated and new organisations come into play, we want to make sure that we can support those in the community. As government cuts to funding, some of these services, they just do not have the money to be able to pay for children to come, the, the transport to get them here and, um, and so on. So where does it go from here? If um, you know, Sue wants to help all these kids that need the help, it just needs to come from other sources. So everyone has put together a crowdfunding campaign for you. Everybody wants to help, we can stop them. We can stop them. <laughs> So they're learning about their personalities, they're learning about body language. We'll have a mentoring program set up so they can keep coming back, but especially the students that you know, attempt their own lives and are self-harmers and have a problem feeling like they fit in. We want everyone to fit in. So it's about the animals, it's about caring for our animals and realising that they have personalities and feelings. Every single penny that you put in is going to help bring kids out to these horses or bring horses out to the kids. And it's just magic, okay? It's just magic.